This is Artifacts of Mars. Get the kids out of the room. My language is likely to be a little raw on this one. I am hot. If you vote for Donald Trump, you're a white supremacist, according to the Cannibal News Network. You're going to be boiling by the time you hear this. Blame President Trump for his type of moral response, calling neo-Nazis and white nationalist slugs, filling Facebook and Twitter accounts with moral outrage. You people have no morals. Why do you think you're called Ca Cannibal News Network? Because you have one of your reporters eating human brains. But the tragedy that took place in Charlottesville in this month could not have occurred about, without the tacit acceptance of millions of ordinary law-abiding Americans who helped create such a racially explosive climate. Some activists, historians, and victims of extremism say, unbelievable. It's easy to focus on the angry white men in paramilitary gear look like they're mobilizing for race war in Virginia, college town, but it's ordinary people. The voters who elected a reality, reality TV star with a record of making racially insensitive comments. The people who move out of the neighborhood when people of color move in family members to ignore all those anti-Semitism to give this, these type of men room to operate, they say. First of all, this is all hearsay. Secondly, you can shove it where the moon doesn't shine. We're being, we're tired of being abused by organizations like yours. You are not a news organization. You're a, you're a pile of donkey dung. That's all you are. That was the formula that made the Holocaust and Rwanda possible and allowed Jim Crow segregation to survive. Nice people looked the other way while white men with an appetite for violence did the dirty work, says Mark Mason, a political activist and historic history professor at Fordham University in New York City. You can shove it where the moon doesn't shine! You! You idiot! You idiot liberal! You have you have to have millions of people who are willing to be bystanders who push aside evidence of racism, Islamophobia, so, Islamophobia, so, yeah, Islamophobia or sexism. Can't have one without all of Nelson Mason says. I can't believe this. I'm about tired of this. This network is the biggest piece of dog shit I ever saw. Okay, so I call them donkey shit. Whatever, camel shit, dog shit, bullshit. The key word is their shit, as far as I'm concerned. And then, you know, through the civil rights. Let's see, number two, President Trump's criti critics blasted him for not coming out strong enough against white races to march in Charlottesville. Trump initially denounced the egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on both sides, which is right. There's many sides qualify that infuriates some people. They want an un unequivocal denunciation of racism from a leader. Well, that's what he did, you idiots. I can't read this. They've insulted us. They've insulted every Trump voter out there. His white supremacist is utter moron, utterly moronic. They're out of their fucking minds. I'm sorry, I can't deal. My blood is boiling right now. 
the Cannibal News Network, you can go fuck yourselves, fuck you, and the horse you rode in on. I can't do it, I'm sorry. I can't read the rest of this. I'm getting madder and madder, it's going to drive my blood pressure right through the goddamn roof. 